Good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, time to put a jacket on. It's definitely we're we're definitely experiencing the cooler part of the year at the moment. Strangely enough, in August. Anyway, that's, I always believe that it's colder at this time of the year than it is actually in June and July. Uh, in fact, October I've always considered to be quite cold. Enough about the weather. Anyway, keep warm. Today, uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter fifteen, we see the interchange between Jesus and the Canaanite woman. Now, the Canaanite woman obviously was not Jewish. And uh, she tried to, she was obviously crying out to Jesus and the apostles were trying to chase her away. And they came along and they said to Jesus, look, this woman's making a noise. And Jesus' response was, no, I haven't come to save these people. I've only come to save the lost ones of Israel. So he's, he's, uh, he's saying that she's an outsider. Why, why are you boring me? But nevertheless, uh, she persists and she comes to Jesus and says, uh, my, my daughter is possessed by a demon. Now, that's not the kind of thing that most people would be able to heal. Uh, even these days, some people talk about being possessed. Um, and it is a reality, by the way, which is why we, in fact, do have people who, who are charged and, and, uh, and uh, trained to be exorcists. It's not something anybody should try. Well, they say the devil comes out of that person into you. You don't want to try to take that chance. So, yeah, but it exists. And uh, Jesus said, well, I, you know, I haven't come to look after you. And... And her response was, even the dog can eat the scraps of food that were thrown on the floor. So you've got this lovely picture of a little dog that next to the table, which is why, where it came from today. And Jesus says, your faith has healed you. Your faith is right. And when she went home, the, 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 the evil spirit had gone. And it says, you know, sometimes we feel, okay, we're the saved ones. You know, we go to church every week. Um, we Catholics, we've got the certificate. Um, we all get into heaven. I don't think certificates will get us into heaven. But anyway, we, we feel that we're doing all the right things. And suddenly somebody else comes along from a different background and says, I need to be healed and I'm appealing for it. Jesus' response, I think, should be an example to us that it's not just the obvious people who need to be saved. Sometimes there are other people out there who really need to be saved and they really need help. On a spiritual level, remember driving out demons is a spiritual exercise. So she, this woman wasn't of the poor. She was of the poor spirit. And so therefore, um, we can assist and we need to seek those people out because ultimately, as I've said to you before, if we can save one soul, then maybe we can say to the Lord, Lord, can you save me? You have a wonderful day and keep well. God bless. Bye-bye.